Hey everybody, I just wanted to take an opportunity to do another video about San Francisco. Today, what I want to talk about is the public transportation system. Now, that was a major component in me deciding to move out to San Francisco. Living in Mississippi, um, being a person of low vision, I'm legally blind, I'm not able to drive, which means I can't operate a car, which in the South is kind of difficult. So, normal tasks like going to the grocery store, going out to eat, I don't go to the grocery store so much because I don't like to cook, but I do love to eat. As I said in my previous video, it's kind of difficult. But here in San Francisco, it's one of the most walkable cities in America. The reason being is that there are a number of public transportation systems. There are a lot of people that are wondering, you know, what are all the different systems. There's many systems here that all work together to make San Francisco a walkable place. In San Francisco, we have Muni, which is uh, operated by the San Francisco Metro Trans... Metropolitan Transit Authority is a mouthful, SFMTA. That, they operate Muni, which consists of buses, streetcars, trolleys, subways. There's also another popular one, the Bay Area Rapid Transit System, which is better known as BART, which not only does it operate here in San Francisco, but it goes to the East Bay. There's also uh, ACE Transit, which uh, is another bus system. There's Caltrain, which is a larger light commuter rail system which takes people all the way down to San Jose. There's also the ferry system which takes people across the bay um, mainly to Sausalito and to some of the other east and northeast bay areas. But the thing is uh, it's a very critical part of San Francisco getting around. If you actually do live in San Francisco proper, um, having a vehicle can be a bit of a problem. Not only is it hard to find a place for you to park your vehicle, if not very expensive, it's also, um, the traffic is terrible most of the time. And so if you're planning on coming out here or visiting here, don't bother having a car. Don't even consider a rental unless you want to go to Soma, Wine Valley, go see. One of the cool things about the transit system, though, is it is one of the largest ones in the country. It's also Muni proper. This is the SFMTA. It is one of the oldest transit systems in the nation. It's... 100 years old. It was originally started right after the earthquake of 1906, which really shook San Francisco, California, and so they decided they really need to reconsider how they were going to do their transit system. And it's 100 years old this year. They carry about 200 million people per year, so it's definitely a widely used system. One of the things, though, that's really noticeable is that you can definitely tell who the riders are in most of the uh, on some of the transit systems. The quality of the vehicles between BART and Muni. If you step on a BART train, they're relatively clean. Um, the riders are quiet. Most people are well behaved. Not saying that there aren't incidents occasionally, but it's definitely a little bit more of a clean, cleaner experience. If you ride on any of the Muni buses, it can be an interesting experience. Not only will you be sometimes sitting next to the crazy person who is having a violent conversation with himself, and like they'll have this periodic message that says, please, if you notice anybody vandalizing the bus, text the four-digit number. Not that anybody's going to be seen narking while that person's doing that. It's probably some gang guy. But then you see like this vandalism, and it's like on the top of the bus, and you're like, how can somebody not notice somebody putting that vandalism up there? And it's very rare that I'm just sitting on a bus and nobody's in there. So when you do come out here, be sure to check it out. Um, go down and also check out the streetcars that's on the F Market line. There's a bunch of historic vehicles, which include the few trolleys from Philadelphia. If you go down to Powell Street and California Streets, there's also a more traditional trolley. If anybody's from New Orleans, they'll kind of recognize that kind of look and feel. Another thing to note is that if you're coming to the area, be sure to check out a Clipper card. You can Google that. Um, the Clipper card is the ticketing system that is really widely used by all the major system, transit systems here in the area. And the cool thing about it is, is you can load up your Clipper card on the internet and you can go to any of the tellers and any of the stations or like the automated teller machines and you can load it up with your debit card. Not, But it really makes it an easy way to go from one system to the next without having to be like, oh, who do I pay, where, what, when, why, and the cool thing is, is if you have your Clipper card registered online, if you lose it, you can get a lot of the value refunded, move to another card, and they'll notify you if like value gets added to your card and you don't know where it is. 
I think that's pretty much all that there is to say about the transit system. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, shoot me a message. Take it easy and have a good weekend. Talk to you later.